Hello class, I completed my developmental case assessment with a 36 month old male child who lives in Arizona with his parents who are both ages 27. I completed my, my assessment in, in the child's home and present at that time was the child's mother and also the child's aunt. Um, for the for the five assessments of for the five excuse me sections of the assessment, um, the child actually performed within age age appropriate um, measures. Um, for example, um, in his in his communication, he was he was able to to um, point to the, the the various parts of his body um, that I asked him to such as eyes eyes and ears ears, nose, and mouth, um, and in fact, and in fact, enjoyed that because we, we tended to make it a game. Um, also for, for gross motor and fine motor skills, he also um, scored within age-appropriate developmental ranges because in fact, he is, he is actually quite an athletic child, and his father, um, who is also into sports, has from a pretty early age um, gone out and played physical games with him and, and taught him how, how to throw a ball and, and, and to swim and other things. So for a, a three-year-old child, he's actually um, very active. Um, so the so gross and fine motor skills were also both within age-appropriate um, ranges. And Problem solving skills, um, again, age appropriate. Uh, he could do, he could do tasks like um, when I would line up four cars in a row, he was able to, to, to replicate that that line of cars. Also, um, personal and social skills. Um, he, she, he, he, he is a boy, and in fact, his mother describes him as being as being all boy. He likes to he likes to rough rough house. He enjoys playing with 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 friends. However at times he tends to be a bit bossy and wants to and wants to direct um, the game then will become frustrated if if other kids don't want to play along um, with him. Again and I and I mentioned his father is very aggressive um, with him in his play and that does cause some concern for the for the mother, but as, as studies have, have, have indicated, um, a, aggressive play with a with a with a child actually leads to 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 greater and increased academic development later on in life. Um, overall, overall, the considerations that I had um, again, um, de developing he developing he's right where he should. be. Um, the the concern in the physical um, health concern he has is a severe allergy to, to to food, particularly peanuts. And in fact, there have been numerous occasions to where um, he, his mother has had to use um, an an epipen to, to help reverse um, anaphylaxis if he's eaten food that contains peanuts. And so and so there are times that the mother um, becomes a bit. I, I guess I could say overprotective of him, um, and and that overprotectiveness also comes into con conflict because because he isn't allowed then to to go out and roughhouse as he would as he would like. So the the the, the implications for social work that I that I learned are um, number one understanding the child's the child's development and and where they're at and and whether they are having having development delays um, um, psychological issues um, um, physical delays those those are important to know to to um, affect proper proper treatment planning for him my my child was born in in Arizona and that is also impactful because because he and, and he is a child with with a, a Hispanic father and a and a and a white mother and and so that that exposure to both cultures is enriching for him and and and, and lastly what I've learned from from my exposure is to always be prepared um, always go in um, be respectful, non-judgmental of families, and and again go in 
as, as an open door as you get to know them. Thank you all for listening.